Is your gas appliance making a hissing, high-pitched, noisy sound whenever you turn it on? Today I've got a hanging heater, and when you turn this unit on, it's making a high-pitched noise. And that noise is being caused by something, and we're going to fix that today. I'm going to show you the noise, I'm going to talk about what causes the noise, and then show you how I fix it. So if you have this problem with a gas furnace or an appliance like a hanging heater, then you'll be able to fix this issue. Before we start today's video, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. You want help with your project, you want tech support, you know what to do. Click the join button, and then let me know in the comments, and I'll give you my email. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians slash Homeowners. I'm Tad. Let's get started. First things first, turn up the heat so the unit will start. All right, now, see if you can hear it. It's about to light. You hear that? You hear that? Now, let me talk to you about what's causing that and how we're gonna fix it. If you've ever had this problem in the field, what did you do to fix it? Let me know in the comments your experience. Definitely put those comments below so that other people have the chance to read it and learn from it. What we're going to do is we are going to replace this flex hose here because that is our problem area. Let me show you. This right here is three quarter inch black iron pipe and this goes to our hanging heater. You see the gas valve over there. But in between the three quarter inch pipe and our gas hookup right there where the gas valve is, we have got a half inch hose. So two things. Number one is the gas flowing through this corrugated pipe will cause the noise and also the gas flowing through a undersized flex hose will cause this. So we need to make sure that it is the right size because we are causing this noise by having the wrong size pipe in here. I've got a three quarter inch flex hose that's going to be perfect. All we got to do is take this fitting right here out because this is a three quarter by three quarter T and then take this fitting out right here because this is a three quarter inch uh, 90. So, but we've also got a three quarter inch hookup right here for our gas valve, but we're not gonna take that out, I'm, I don't think. I might take it out, not sure, but I'm gonna let you hear the sound after we get this flex hose disconnected and get the right flex hose installed. Okay, so we're ready to go. All I gotta do is bleed the gas off, so I'll leave this connection loose. I will turn the gas shut off on all right now tighten this up and we'll go start the unit back up and see if we've got a noise now turn it back up It's lit. No noise. So we fixed the problem. Perfect. Easy fix. You got to have the right size piping. Whether you're using flex hose or track pipe or black iron, if you don't know how to size gas piping, I've got a gas pipe sizing chart. If you are a member, then I will send that to you via email. If you haven't gotten my email yet, let me know in the comments that you've joined and I will give you my email. If you want my email, click the join button, become a member. And if you want more videos about gas pressure, about how to find a gas leak, about why we pressure test, then go check out my videos in the playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. Also, I'll drop a couple videos on setting gas pressure down in the link in the description so that if you don't know how, then you can go down there and you can have that information. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians slash Homeowners. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.